Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's huddle. We're into our 90 days and we're counting it down. So today I want to quickly go through with you the day in the life. You know, oftentimes we ask ourselves, what is the day in the life of a successful salesperson? I've done different audios on this subject before, but I just want to keep it simple today and keep it really core because right now we're talking about the next 90 days. We're not talking about what happened the other day, although all that information is very good. But today I want you to take out a piece of paper and here's what I want you to think about. Okay, In order for you to achieve the goals that you have set, right, the ideal, I, the ideal prospect for you is to figure out what it is that you have to do on a daily basis. Now, there's really, to keep this simple, there is two to three compartments within your day as a sales professional, okay? And in its essence, we've got the, you got the morning routines, you got the mid-afternoon routines, and you got the late afternoon and evening, depending upon the circumstances, type routines, okay? Now, very typically, the morning routine is ideally designed for you to go out there and produce new opportunities. I didn't say follow up on opportunities or do paperwork. I'm talking about produce and create new opportunities for yourself. The One of the main reasons behind that is because if you don't get it done in the morning, very typically, the chances of you getting it done later in the day are greatly reduced by up to 80%, if not higher. And I'm being kind with 80%. So what we want to do is structure our day in a way that we have our morning routine nailed down to be the most productive time of the day for producing new opportunity, okay? And you can simply break that down in a couple of ways. One is obviously, as we've talked about in the morning, you want to get up and you want to get your mindset right. You want to get your day correct. You want to make sure you got your plans in order for the day. What are your goals? What are your objectives for that day? Okay. And you want to keep in mind uh, taking that time not to get up in the morning and throw on your social media or the news or um, checking emails. You want to take time for yourself. And that routine is very, very critical to getting your day right. Now, not just your physical day, but your mental day. And you got to get prepared for it because, listen, we are in the business of sales and entrepreneurship. And as a result, we have to make sure that our mind is right because of the nature of what we do. It's a, it can be and it will be at times stressful. And that's just the nature of the beast. OK, we're not working for anybody. We're working for ourselves. Now, if you want to have less stress in your life and obviously less income, you can certainly go work for somebody else's goals and dreams and let them put the pressure on themselves to achieve greater amounts of economic and freedom in their life while you work for them. So again, it's really a choice for you. And and, and more so, guys, it's really a buy-in that you must have in your own uh, mindset and decision-making process when it comes to doing what you're doing. Again, we're in sales, we're in entrepreneurship, we're business owners, and this is what we have signed up for, and we have to treat it as such, okay? So uh, let's get through this, okay? So your morning routine uh, needs to be strengthened of mind, body, and spirit, okay? Now, you can certainly get up and do some exercise. You can do some stretches. You can do some meditation. You can do some reading. You can do some uh, reevaluating of your goals. You can do some uh, bucket list. You want to sit down and do that. You want to do some prayers if that's part of your life, uh, which is fine for me. That's, that's what I do. It's part of my life. Um, whatever you choose, but just let's avoid making sure, as I said a second ago, anything that's going to pull us down. Okay. And we don't want to check uh, emails and we don't want to check social media and we don't want to check the news. Uh, it'll be around. It's not going anywhere, at least in this any time in the near future, at least not according to my crystal ball, but let's take care of ourselves first. Then what we have to do is once we've taken care of our personal life, and that also includes your family, don't misunderstand me here. Um, it's not just about you, but you got, you know, your, 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 your kids, your, maybe you have children, um, maybe you have parents, maybe you just have yourself. I don't know, but you want to take care of your family. 
uh, in that arena too, making sure they're uh, prepared for the day, they're off to school, you've had some quality conversations and time with them, and you got that piece going. Okay, now we've done all of that, and now we have to get to the office, and we got to get to work. Now, hopefully your office is outside of your home, uh, and if not, then, well, you need to make sure that you got a place in your home that's a dedicated office space. Otherwise, go out and rent a, an executive type of suite for a couple hundred bucks a month in some cases. If you look really hard, you can sublease some places from, uh, depending upon your business, from other uh, partners or joint ventures or maybe an accountant, maybe an attorney who's got an extra office in there you can go to and do your work. Um, there's many ways to skin that cat if, as long as you get creative with this process. But you got to get to work. You got to get to the office. And if it's 60 second commute for you, then make sure that it's a it's an area that's prepared for the job at hand, and that is to produce income and produce opportunity for you. Okay. Now, we've gone to the office. What do we do? Well, we have to take a look at our plan for the day again. If you haven't reviewed it, you want to double check. Um, depending upon what you do for your business, you want to check to see. Um, what is available for you like in the real estate world if you're doing uh, real estate I talk about this a lot because I do coaching for real estate agents as well as businesses but this is a it's a good example um, you just need to check what you uh, who you can call for the day and this goes for anybody quite honestly who you need to call on what's your territory where you're gonna go knock on doors who you're gonna make a phone call to who are you going to, who in your base of people, uh, what lunches do you need to set up with your joint venture partners and business and uh, business collaborations and who are you going to call on? Okay, so now that we've got that all set up and we're ready to make some calls, but wait, before we do that, we have to get ourselves warmed up. All professionals in any arena of professional life, whether it's sport or business, oftentimes will prepare themselves through role plays and practice and you got to get yourself in that mindset that you have to do that whether it's on your own or getting a partner more, more ideally you need to do some role plays get yourself warmed up before you get on the playing field and get out there it just certainly helps you out and enhances your skill set and it just makes you simply better when you're communicating with people now that we've done that the next thing is obviously we have to the in within the we're still in the first part of our day the first half let's call this from 6 a.m to 12 p.m all right then we got to generate opportunity okay generate leads prospect whatever you want to call it um, and then go out there and make that happen. And you should do that probably on a minimum of, uh, of, of two hours up to as high as five hours a day, in my humble opinion. I did that myself on the higher end. Um, I started out in the low end, but I increased it over time up to the higher end uh, because that's really what I was doing. I, had, I delegated everything else out ultimately over a period of time and just gave me, gave me the opportunity to really go out there and look for business throughout the day. And that's what I did and, and will continue to do. All right. So minimally, you need to express, uh, uh, put yourself in a position where you're marketing for at least a couple of hours a day, okay? You should set a number of contacts that you're going to make, uh, follow-ups that you're going to make, follow-up contacts that you're going to make, um, and, and how many leads you're going to generate and potentially how many appointments you're going to set. Now, I believe if you worked hard in the morning, you could probably set yourself anywhere between one to three appointments uh, for that week or maybe even that day or the, within the next couple of weeks for sure um, on a daily basis. And that's uh, designed and geared towards who you're calling on and what you can find out from them and, and what they want to do. Okay, do you want to buy or sell? Do you want to, uh, can we meet? Can we talk about uh, doing business together? Whatever it takes, you can find leads and you can potentially set at least, I believe, in a day, one appointment with somebody, okay? And that appointment should be something where you either go meet them or maybe you're doing an actual presentation, um, any combination thereof, ideally a presentation of your products, goods, or services, so that way you can potentially get an agreement signed and, and make that happen, okay? So that's your morning routine from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Now, the mid-afternoon, which is between 12 and, let's say, 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, um, that's really lunchtime. Um, you need to take a break because you worked hard. You've been up early. You're taking care of a lot of things. You need to get yourself out of the office to give yourself a break and make sure that that's happening for you, okay? Don't sit there and, and, and work 24-7 uh, in, the, in the office, okay, and doing your thing. Okay, give yourself a break. Now, if you need to work through lunch or you want to go on a working lunch with somebody uh, outside of your office, okay, you want to go with somebody who you can discuss business with, that you can make money with, keep make money with, okay, unless you're selling uh, your own services to your own partner in your office there, okay, 
listen, go on a lunch with other people. Make that time, set it up, joint venture partners, relationships, centers of influence, past clients, uh, business owners, whatever it takes, networking, lunch and learns, anything like that. Go out there and talk to different people or, and, or have lunch together with them and, co- and collaborate on where you guys can make money. It doesn't have to be a heavy lunch. You don't have to buy each other lunch. Just go out there and have some fun. If you want to take somebody out to lunch, that's perfectly fine with me. It's all within your budget. You know what you need to do there. But it doesn't mean that you, uh, because you say to somebody, let's go to lunch, that you're inviting them to lunch. you got to pay for it. It's just not what it's about. Let's go have some lunch. Let's talk about business and what we can do to help each other. And whoever pays the bill, pays the bill. However you split it, doesn't really matter. Anyway, go to lunch. Take, take some time. Whether it's, if, it's, if it's nobody that you're going to go meet with, take lunch on your own. Give yourself that personal break. Then you come back and then you should do, very typically, your administrative function. And that's where you're calling people, following up with people, um, checking on transactions that you got in the pipeline, making sure the servicing is going well for your transactions that you're working, deals that you put into the pipeline, making sure all of that's moving forward, preparation for the afternoon. Um, There's a number of things that you could work on administratively um, because you're not doing it in the morning anyway and you shouldn't be doing it in the morning. Uh, unless it's an absolute must that you do it in the morning. But this is that time in the afternoon because typically it's a slower time uh, for most people come from 12 to 3. Most people are going to lunch or coming from lunch, business people, you know, ho- happy homemakers, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just a slower time of the day typically. Um, doesn't mean you can't do appointments at this time. It doesn't mean you can't do prospecting at this time. Not at all. Uh, just keep in mind that if you're going to do administrative work, do it at this point of the day, which is the middle quadrant between 12 and 3. Now, before you go on your afternoon jaunt, okay, this is very typically, you might be out in the field doing appointments from, let's say, 2 to 5, 2 to 6, depend upon the type of business that you do, B2B, B2C, uh, business to business, business to consumer, um, whatever it is, uh, you're typically going to go on your appointments, visiting people, knocking on a door, people that you couldn't get in touch with in the morning, you're going to go see them, you're going to go on a presentation to present your products, goods, and services, anything of that nature where you're out there actually producing. Get your butt up and get out of the office, okay? You don't need to be hanging out all day in the office unless you really want to do a jam session all day long to build your business, which is fine for me and highly recommended, but uh, minimally get out of the office and that's typically going to happen between two or three and on, okay? And that's it, guys. When you finish your day, okay, those are the three quadrants of your day. When you finish your day, okay, whether it's late afternoon, early evening, maybe could be a late evening. I don't know. It depends on your circumstances. But at any rate, when you finish up the day, take 10, okay? Take 10, 10 minutes and sit there and recap your day. What went well, what you can need to do to work on tomorrow, what improvements do you need to make, who do you need to call, who do you need to follow up with, what are your plans for the coming day so you don't get up in the morning hurried, scurried, and know what do I got to do today, I don't know, I'm not sure what I did yesterday, I'm confused. Don't go there, get it at, get yourself out of the way, and take 10 minutes, okay? You really, that's all you need to do, okay? Check in with your mindset, how are you doing that day? What skills that went well for you? What do you need to work on? Um, you know, who do you need to call? Uh, and make sure that you, in that part of your day, write out who you're going to send a thank you note to. And frankly, you should write those thank you notes out at that time and spend another couple of minutes. That's all it really takes. And send some thank you notes to people that you should probably have had communications with that day. Maybe it's one, maybe it's five. I always set a minimum goal for myself of five. I knew I was doing lead gen if I was setting out five minimally. And it always worked in my favor because that was my goal. I want to send out five thank you notes, meaning I'm going to have plenty of leads to follow up and send thank you notes with because I worked hard to find them. Um, And guys, that is it, okay? You work your business like this. You treat it like a business. You run it like this operation. You know who you have to call. You know what you have to say. You're prepared to make those calls. You're prepared to know what to say. You're having some paperwork that you're shuffling around. Good for you. Go make it happen. Just don't do it in the middle of your productive times. That's the key. Don't mix and match. Do a little paperwork. Make a couple of calls. Get rejected. Nah, I'm going to go do some paperwork. That's BS. Bullshit. Don't waste your time doing that, okay? Compartmentalize your time. Do the things that you need to do that are proper. You heard me talk about a couple weeks ago, the 80-20 rule, and that's the way you run your deal. 
every single day. This is 90 days. We're pushing it. We're taking it to the next level, and we're going to make it happen, aren't we? I know we are for sure because you're listening to me carefully, and you're taking copious and detailed notes, and you're going to take this and slap what I just said on your five-day week-at-a-glance calendar so you know exactly what you're going to be doing every single day. Guys, 90 days. Let's make it happen. I appreciate your time today. Remember, go to realprofitbuilders.com. Pick up the recordings. They're all being uploaded over as we speak here. If you haven't seen them, that's a challenge we had with the administrative side. But, hey, they're here. I got them. Don't worry about it. But just go to realprofitbuilders.com, the podcast site. If you have any questions for me, needs, wants, desires, pick up the phone. Let's have a coaching session. Let's meet. Let's talk. Whatever it takes to help you go to the next level. Tomorrow we'll speak. And until then, make today your best day ever. Talk to you soon.